Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how amps flowing in an off-grid solar system. I'm getting this question many times and I see people confusion. And uh, what, is, uh, what is confusing to understand is how it's possible that MPPT charge controller can send power to our system and uh, all of this power can go directly to inverter awaiting our batteries. And uh, in this video I'm going to connect these three amp meters and we will see how this works. What I have on the table right now is the three main components that uh, every off-grid system contains. First is MPPT charge controller. Role of this device is to get power from solar panels, step down this power to the battery voltage and get all available, like, squeeze maximum power from solar panels. Second is a battery. In my case it's lithium iron phosphate batteries, 16 cells. And the third one is inverter. So this is simple off-grid inverter which is taking DC power from a battery and converting this to AC power that uh, our home appliance is consuming. So this is 48 volts inverter, 2000 watts. And in my case instead of solar panels I'm going to use this power supply because it's going to be much easier to simulate multiple scenarios and show you how it works. So simple connection for off-grid solar systems. We have these bus bars and uh, basically positive from uh, MPPT charge controller, positive from the batteries, from the BMS and positive from inverter going to one point and all negatives going to another point. Right now I'm going to connect all of this together and I'm going to connect this amp meter so we'll see how uh, electricity flowing from MPPT charge controller to the battery to inverter and etc. Let me quickly connect this. So all components connected together. So we'll see from MPPT charge controller positive is going to one post on the bus bar and same from same post positive is going one to the battery and the second positive wire is going to the inverter. Same for the negatives we're going to one post right here and we're going to battery and inverter. I set it up amp meters on the negative side so we'll see how amps flowing in, in our system. Right now if I'm going to turn my inverter on AC side. I have these light bulbs connected right here. It's about 250 300 uh, watts load. So I'm expecting about 5 point something amps to be uh, drawn from battery. So we can see that we're getting from a battery. We are on negative side. So we draw from a battery 5 amps. It's about 250 watts. Uh, 5 amps multiply 50 volts. And then all of these amps flowing into our inverter. So we see five something amps going into inverter. On MPPT charge controller we see zero because we don't have any, any power available on MPPT charge controller. Now let's perform first test. I connected this power supply to MPPT charge controller and I'm going to hit this power supply to the maximum. It's able to supply about 300 watts so it's just it's going to start charging our system in a second. We can see that uh, MPPT charge controller charging with 300 watts and we can see on this amp meter that we're pushing into our system 5 amps. So to explain what is happening right now, let's divide our system right here. So this side is a charging side, it's pushing into our system into this one 5 amps. It doesn't know where this 5 amps going. Is it going to load or is it going to the battery? We know that our load consuming 5 amps uh, it remains same as before 5 amps and if we check amp meter for the battery we can see that our meter at zero. So what is happening right now we are producing 300 watts and we consuming 300 watts. What is happening all of this power is going directly through these wires is going directly to the AC side to the load side. So battery not participating in this process at all at this point. So we are not discharging or not charging our battery. So basically we are not cycling our cells. So this is first example and second example as soon as I'm gonna turn this inverter off I'm expecting that these amps will go to the zero and uh, these amps will go to the five. So our, our amps will, instead of going to the load, it will go to the battery. Let's see. Mm. 
okay so it's immediately switched to the zero and now we are we are pushing five amps right here so it's it, it it might it's changing because mppt charge controller doing trying to get maximum power from uh, power supply let me turn this back on okay and now all of this power is going back to um, inverter now for this next test let me switch my power supply to 2 amps so we're gonna get about 100 watts from solar panels so we're simulating that our panel is producing just 2 amps so we see on this amp meter that we're pushing into system 2 amps but our consumption is still 5 amps so what is happening we're getting this additional power so we pull an additional power from a battery so right now mppt charge controller and battery together supplying our inverter and uh, i'm just going to adjust this dial and you can see like how this uh, amp meters going one is going up and this is going down I mean, this is growing and this is going to zero. For the last test, I'm going to show you when MPPT charge controller producing 300 watts, but our consumption is 150 watts. So let's turn half of these lights off and let's see what's going to happen with our amps. Okay, so we just turn half of the load uh, off and we see that our inverter pulling from the system right now just 2.5 amps. So we, we are about 150 watts, but our MPPT charge controller still pushing 6 or 5.8 amps into the system. So what is happening with the battery? All power which is unused is just get pushed back to the battery. So we can see that half of the amps flowing from MPP charge controller, half of the amps flowing into inverter and second half is going to the battery. Okay guys, I hope this video makes it clear how amps flowing from MPT charge controller from battery and from the inverter in the off-grid solar systems. If you like this video, please hit like button, it helps channel a lot also consider subscribing on this channel i'm building off-grid solar system i'm building lithium iron phosphate batteries i'm reviewing many solar components like bms cells uh, mppt charge controllers inverters etc and as always thank you for watching and see you later